record, both assistant state attorneys are present, both defense counsel, Mr. Seavers. I'm told we have a uh, verdict. State's ready? Defense is ready? Yes, sir. Does either side need time to talk to uh, any of the members from either family? I mean, if you can't handle it, it would probably be best if you wait to find out what the verdict is out in the hallway. We have spoken with um, the family, and they understand what okay. is appropriate, Your Honor. Defense? We're all set. Okay. Bring them out. Please be seated. I'll ask our four person again, have you reached a verdict? If you'll please pass the verdict form to the bailiff. Thank Publish the verdict. In the Circuit Court of the 20th Judicial Circuit in and for Lee County, Florida, criminal action. State of Florida versus Mark D. Seavers, case number 15 CF 673B. Verdict form, penalty phase. We, the jury, find as follows as to Mark Seavers in this case. A. Aggravating factors as to count one. We, the jury, unanimously find the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the capital murder was committed for pecuniary gain? No. We, the jury, unanimously find that the state has established beyond a reasonable doubt the existence of the capital felony was a homicide and was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification? Yes. If you answer yes to at least one of the aggravating factors listed, please proceed to Section B. If you answered no to every aggravating factor listed, do not proceed to Section B. Mark Sievers is not eligible for the death sentence and will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. B. Sufficiency of the aggravating factors as to count one. Reviewing the aggravating factors that we unanimously found to be established beyond a reasonable doubt in Section A, we, the jury, unanimously find the aggravating factors are sufficient to warrant a possible sentence of death? Yes. If you answer yes to Section B, please proceed to Section C. If you answer no to Section B, do not proceed to Section C. Mark Sievers will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. C. Mitigating circumstances. One or more individual jurors find that one or more mitigating circumstances was established by the greater weight of the evidence? No. Please proceed to Section D, regardless of your findings in Section C. D. Eligibility for the death penalty for Count 1. We, the jury, unanimously find that the aggravating factors that were proven beyond a reasonable doubt in Section A outweigh the mitigating circumstances established in Section C above as to Count 1. Yes. If you answered yes to Section D, please proceed to Section E. If you answered no to Section D, do not proceed. Mark Sievers will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. E. Jury verdict as to death penalty. 
having unanimously found that at least one aggravating factor has been established beyond a reasonable doubt in Section A, that the aggravating factor or factors are sufficient to warrant a sentence of death in Section B, and the aggravating factor or factors outweigh the mitigating circumstances in Section D, we the jury unanimously find that Mark Sievers should be sentenced to death, yes. If your vote to impose death is less than unanimous, the trial court shall impose a sentence of life without the possibility of parole. Dated this 10th day of December in Lee County, Florida. Either side like the jury polled? Yes, please. One moment. I'll start with you, our four-person, um, your juror ID or number or your initials, please. Is that verdict, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, that do you agree that at least, uh, excuse me for a minute, do you agree that each of the findings in the, the verdict form is yours? Sir, your name or, or initials or ID number? Each of the findings in the verdict form is yours. Yes, I do. Ma'am, your name, initials, or ID number? Do you agree that each of the findings in the verdict form is yours? Yes, Ma'am, your name or ID number or initials? Do you agree that each of the findings in the verdict form is yours? Ma'am, your name, ID number, or initials? Ma'am, do you agree that each of the findings in the verdict form is yours? Ma'am, your name, initial, or initials, or ID number? Ma'am, do you agree that each of the findings of the verdict form is yours? Yes. Ma'am, your name, initials, or ID number? Do you agree that each of the findings of the verdict form is yours? Yes. Ma'am, your name, or ID number, or initials? Do you agree that each of the findings of the verdict form is yours? Yes. Sir, your name, ID number, or initials? And sir, do you agree that each of the findings of the verdict form is yours? Yeah. Sir, your name, ID number, or initials? And sir, do you agree that each of the findings in the verdict form is yours? Yes. Ma'am, your name, ID number, or initials? And ma'am, do you agree that the, each of the findings in the verdict form is yours? Yes, ma'am, your name, ID number, or initials? Ma'am, do you agree that each of the findings in the verdict form is yours? Anything further with the jury from the state? From the defense? Yes, sir. You're going to leave with my thanks, the thanks of the court system here today, and uh, I really appreciate all the time and effort you've put into this case. You've been here for weeks, and it's, it's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask for a case of this, of this type as well. You are free to talk about the case with anyone you'd like to. You're free to refuse to. If you need anything from the clerk, you can contact their office saying that you've been here this long. And, uh, and you're going to leave with my personal thanks as well. Have a good night.